Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Fix That Engineer where today, guys, I've, I've been getting a lot of Dark Elixir and so I'm hoping that by the end of the day I'll be able to upgrade a hero. So the king has finally woke up, um, level 36, and to go to level 37 is... Wow, 153,000 Dark Elixir. I don't know if you guys caught how much I have right now. But that's hilarious. 153,000 Dark Elixir to upgrade the king, and I need, I have 153,444. I have enough to upgrade the king already. That's awesome. But we already know what we're going to be doing today then. I like it. Awesome. So, um, the, uh, the queen, excuse me, the queen upgrade is 180,000. So we're not going to get anywhere near that. But that's fine because the king kind of needs to play a little bit of catch up. So, without any more delay, guys, let's get in there. Let's smack a base. Um... Throw it in these wall wreckers, throwing in these miners. Oh man! And of course, you know, I feel like okay. So like in the last episode and the episode before that, I was kind of like, I don't know, man. I think we may have overdone the hero grind. You know, we're way ahead of the heroes in comparison to the defenses. You know, that's kind of a that's kind of an issue. You know, a little bit unbalanced. But ultimately, what we have here is a uh, we have a lot more dark elixir than we really realize. I mean, look at that. Look at this. The queen is level 40. She's got 10 levels left, each at 190,000 dark elixir on average. Dude, that's a lot. That's over a million dark elixir to max the queen still. We're a long way away from done. And then I find this base. Oh, baby. It is a town hall 11, which, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, but it doesn't have an eagle artillery, which this guy must not have looked at my town hall 11 upgrade guide because that eagle artillery is very, very important. Uh, but check this out, guys. We're gonna smack it. All right, we're gonna smack this base. Let's put down a, a few miners down across there. Let's get the wall wrecker to lead everybody in. All right, we're gonna put everybody together, and let's heal into this corner because of the wizard tower. Let's drop a poison over this queen, and I say uh, warden's ability right now. All right, there we go. So now what we have here, we have some actually we have some balloons that may or may not actually sit into the. Uh, into the poison spell. So hopefully, let me pop that king's ability actually. Let's drop a rage and a heal into the core. And this queen hopefully will snipe all of these balloons down. I did not expect, I don't know why, I just didn't expect a clan castle. All right, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Uh, but it looks like it's okay. The queen is sniping them out of the air slowly, slowly but surely. So I'm thinking maybe we ought to heal on the top to keep the most miners alive. Um, the balloons finally died, by the way. So we're okay there. I've still got one more heal spell. And pop that queen's ability. We're going to get rid of the king. We're going to get rid of that multi-inferno. And potentially, yes, even the... Wow, even the mortar. Nice. All right, I don't think we're going to need our um, final heal. I'm actually going to heal just to heal the queen up all the way. Um, so that we can use her in the next raid. And the Grand Warden, too. So, so this works out nicely. Check it out. The heal spell getting the job done. And knocking out that healing counter. Or counter, you know, the counter that counts until they finally wake up. So there we go, three star. Didn't even need one of all of, or didn't need all of my heal spells. And it had an enemy clan castle of balloons that are generally death for a CC or for uh, for miners. But you know, the queen was still alive. So that was awesome. I, I should probably keep my eyes open for that CC because that could have been bad. It could have been very very bad. But check it out, over eight hundred thousand gold, seven hundred thousand elixir, and forty five forty five fifty fifty six hundred dark elixir. Math is hard. There we go. Anyway, so let's jump out now and um, let's get some CC troops. I ask for Valkyries or Bowlers because both of them are awesome. Inside of a wall wrecker, and then an extra rage spell to rage up that core, and boom, it is absolute destruction so while we wait guys let me check uh my previous raid and see if there's anything oh yes that is the one all right guys check this raid out this is a, not even a dead town hall 11 all right i attacked it from the queen side all right uh level 22 queen so no problem at all i'm gonna drop a couple of heals on either side you know there's two wizard towers and a multi inferno so we want to make sure that they stay alive uh, so heal spells used nicely, and now a warden's ability, or I'm sorry, uh, eagle artillery is about to shoot down. Are we going to use a warden's ability now? Yes, perfect timing. See, that's what I'm saying. Um, I've discovered, and it's been a trend on pretty much all of my accounts lately, is that if I have an e or a warden, I want to use that warden's ability earlier rather than later. And here's the logic behind that. Like, when should you use the grand warden's ability? 
right? Now, at Tunnel 12, the answer is obvious, right? You want to keep the troops alive from the Giga Tesla, from the Giga Bomb, right? But if you're attacking a Tunnel 11 or lower, in my opinion, using the Grand Warden earlier rather than later is better. Because here's the thing, as you attack, your troops are dying. And you can't keep dead troops alive. They, they're gone, right? But if you use your Warden's ability earlier, then you keep those troops alive longer. And that may put you over that tipping point to be able to, to uh, crack a base down to a three-star. So that's kind of my logic. Um, I think it's good logic. Again, you know, if you're attacking a Tunnel 12, the games are, or the rules are different. But in this situation, you know, first Eagle Artillery shots that are coming down. First time your troops get locked onto by an Inferno. Whatever it is that seems to be the priority at the time, that is when you should use your Warden's ability. Um, but of course, there's a, especially in war, that's a totally different animal. But in, as far as farming and, and trophy pushing is concerned, I think the answers are are there. But there we go, guys. So look at that Dark Elixir. 8,500. With a loot bonus, guys, that was nearly 10,000 Dark Elixir in one raid. Oh, baby. Tons of gold, tons of Elixir. You gotta love it. You gotta absolutely love it. Oh my goodness, that wasn't even the raid I wanted to show you guys. Check it out. I just showed you guys Erlen's MKH. But look at Jack Reacher. 700,000 gold, 700 plus thousand elixir, 8,900 dark elixir. This one with the loot bonus is over 10,000 dark elixir. Holy crap. All right, I'm just going to say it how I feel. That is insanity. So check this out. We're going to go and watch this replay too because it's amazing. Um, just wall record kind of leading the queen into the ward, the two wizard, actually into the three wizard tower compartments. So that's amazing. Uh, with the warden's ability early, there you go. There's another example of that early warden ability. Um, the queen by herself should be able to take out three wizard towers. That's huge. Wizard towers are like the number one enemy of um, a minor attack. Also, you get the eagle, but this one was dead town on 11. So the loot was insanity, dude. Seriously, I mean, again, with the loot bonus, over 10,000 Dark Elixir. I mean, that's like the entire Dark Elixir that you need at Town Hall 7, right, is 10,000. It's just it's just crazy, the gains in this raid. So check it out. Ooh, a nice heal covering two Wizard Towers. Remember the Queen and the Kill Squad with the Wall Wrecker already killed three of them, so there really aren't any left. There's only a Bomb Tower up here that's going to cause any more problems. Unfortunately, the Queen did die. She kind of veered off and got herself killed so that's that's not great but that's fine i guess because we got so many miners still alive um and not a whole lot of base left in fact i'm gonna go 2x here there's only a little bit of gold left in the gold mines i went ahead and heal just to be safe in the face of that bomb tower but there's no way these archer tower is going to be able to keep up so bam gold mine goes down a second gold mine goes down and now the third after this archer tower a three star did i miss something i missed a camp ha ha how did we miss that camp over there, dudes? How did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so, dude, seriously, that one, that was a ridiculous amount of loot. All right, so that wasn't, the first replay wasn't what I meant to show you guys, but the second one pretty much was. So, um, all right, so I've got my CC. Let's go out and do another live raid. Will it actually compete loot-wise with the replays? I doubt it. Because those are so rare to run into. Oh, I just realized I've got pretty much max gold. Hold on. Let's actually go upgrade something. That way I don't have max gold. So, so pop into my progress base and let's upgrade an archer tower. Two million gold and three to one. Bam. There we go. Okay, now I've got room. Now let's go find a base. Guys, I have so... Ooh, a Town Hall 10 with 4,500 Dark Elixir. First search challenge. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, so let's do this. I'm thinking... Um, Miners, and I'm also thinking I don't need to use my uh, my uh, wall record because it is literally a Town Hall 10. So let's drop a heal on either corner. There are Wizard Towers there. The only thing that may get me is if there really is a CC, and it looks like, ooh, it's, um, it's actually ground troops. Okay, that helps. So let's drop a heal. Let's also drop a rage. I want to get them through the core as soon as possible. Let's pop that Warden's ability now. They're in the middle of all the Infernos in the core. Um, I've still got heal spells. Let's see what we can do here. I'm thinking healing up there at the very top. I'm also thinking healing um, maybe back in the middle because of that CC that we're having to deal with. I mean, we're, we're working on, right now, they were working on two Giants and a P.E.K.K.A. Those are some major, major troops. Huge, heavy hitters, man. So um, I've already used all my heal spells, and there's a lot of base left. So I might have just shot myself in the foot here, but I still have a wall wrecker, so maybe we'll be able to make it work out. This Grand Warden's about to get roasted. Sorry, Warden. Yeah, that was rough. 
All right. So, okay. I got a little bit greedy. So let's just, yeah, I'm going to fail. I'm not going to three star a town hall 10. Man, how'd that happen? All right. So let's actually, uh, let's do this strategically here. Let's go from the left. All right. I'm going to send the, I'm going to send the wall wrecker straight through these buildings here. Okay. And what's going to happen is it's going to nick through this compartment here so let's actually get the queen to start taking out the bomb tower she has nowhere to go she's gonna have to follow this breadcrumb trail all the way down i've got some troops in there too i don't even know what's in there valkyries probably but at least we'll be able to get rid of that gold out of there and um hopefully the valkyries can get some defenses down too this must have been like a town hall 10 max base as far as defense goes so yeah valkyries are getting the job done but man they're having to hit some heavy heavy stuff and then my queen walks around the outside fan flipping tastic queen why would you do this to me okay maybe actually this may be a blessing in disguise check this out so the queen will follow on the outside she'll get rid of the corner stuff and she's gonna stay away from a lot of the defenses like the tesla's up there there's no there's no loot in this inside the core right it's all right oh and now you're gonna go through a wall never flip in mind the queen being the queen going through a wall when there's a dark elixir drill within range right there oh man that did not go according to plan but with the loot bonus we still got over 5,000 dark elixirs that's a really solid amount of dark elixir the elixir over 400,000 so that's great gold over 300,000 it's not terrible but I, I get a little greedy be careful don't get too greedy just because it's a town lower than you does not mean you don't need to use your entire army I didn't have my king that was on me the main thing was I didn't lead with my wall wrecker that's what I should have done. So either way, loot was still good. And we've got plenty of loot now, especially with that star bonus. Let's actually collect that star bonus. I think I've got more than that. Yeah, I've got over a million. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are rich. We're rich. Look at that. That is 169,000 gold. Check this out. The queen is 180. I'm only 11,000 dark elixir away from potentially upgrading the queen to level 41. That is crazy. But no, we need to get the king upgraded to level 40. We need to catch him up. So let's upgrade this king to one of my favorite numbers of all time, level 37. It's a, just a prime number. It's a cool number. So let's upgrade the king, guys. 153,000 Dark Elixir in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Cool. All right. So king is upgraded. We also started another archer tower. Okay. So now let's look at the lab. I've got three days until my baby dragon is done. So we'll just hang tight on that. I don't mind doing that because I'm going to upgrade a few walls with elixir. I say let's do two. That's four million elixir. So let's get a few walls done. Three, two, one. Bam. Yep. And last but certainly not least, of course, let's do two defenses, which will get us done with this archer tower grind. These two million gold archer towers. And then we'll move on, I guess, straight into the cannons. Let's just work our way down the progress space. Okay. So archer tower. Let's go. One and two. Awesome. So the cannons are also 2 million, so we'll start on that. But first, I've got extra gold. So let's do an upgrade with gold right there. And then get the cannon done right there. And boom. That, my friends, was some major progress. Anytime I can get a hero down, that is fun. That is great. But also the fact that we're done with this Archer Tower grind um, and uh, we'll get to move on is nice. Uh, the next level of Archer Towers are 3 million gold. So that's 50% more. That's kind of nice. But we still got a ton of 2 million gold stuff, including the bomb towers, air sweepers, air defenses, cannons. I mean, there's a lot of things that need to be done still. And then, of course, we still have a whole bunch of traps. So making progress, though, it's always fun. And again, remember, in three days, we will hopefully have 9 million elixir to finish off the wizard upgrade. Of course, that is our priority. That's what we're aiming for right now. So, uh, guys, I guess that's going to have to do it for me today in this episode of Fix That Engineer. Making some major progress. Be sure and like the video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you have not done so already for daily Clash of Clans videos. And to join the Klaus family. And to remember that I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you all again next time.